engaged to a man named Joseph. One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Greetings, favorite one, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. But the angel went on to say, Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. You, you have found favor with God. You will have a birth give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. Yep. He will be very great and will, will be called the Son of the Most High. But how can this happen? I'm a virgin. <coughs> May everything you have, have said about me come true. And the angel left her. See you. <coughs> Sometime later, Caesar Augustus, Rome's leader, ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. Everyone had to travel to his hometown to be counted. So Joseph walked 80 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem for the census because he was a descendant of King David. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. When they reached Bethlehem after a long, tiring journey, they looked around to try to find a place to stay. Do you have any rooms? stable, the time came for Mary to give birth. She gave birth to a son, she wrapped him in a blanket, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him. That night, they were shepherds staying in the field, nearby, hiding the flock of sheep. Suddenly, the angel, shepherd of the Lord, appeared among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. Angel Don't be so afraid. afraid. I am here to announce the great and the joyful event that that is meant for everybody. A savior has just been born. to Jerusalem. They said, Where is the baby who is born the king of the Jews? We saw his star. We saw his star and we have come to worship him. That's right. They were told to go to Bethlehem. The wise men followed the star until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and presented them to him. The end. <laughs> 